In this tutorial, you will learn how you can swap faces with memes or any other character. Enjoy! What's up everybody, Marcus here. So, right now we are in edit mode in DaVinci and let's go. First, I got myself a clip here of me just moving around in a room, but right now it's rendering. And I'm just going there and I'm going back. Now, we, what we want to do is to put screen of a Bart. And we want to position the face, what we want to have on my face, uh, right on me. So let's go. First, let's go like this. We need to go in the transform and change the position. Let's make it a little bit larger up up and now let's go to left so this is it and now also i'm going to change a rotation so let's change the rotation like this okay this should be it right now when i'm going to play it what will happen okay the bart is staying on the same place and i'm just moving without it so now you need to hide the Bart for a while. Just click the button right here. And now let's see, let's go to coloring. And now you need to go to the window. So right now when you are in a window, click on a circle and we need to track myself right now. So let's create it. And like this and this should be it probably so now you will when you are in a window go to the next to tracker go in the beginning Opa. and we want to track this so now be in the window don't be in the stabilizer just click the play button or track forward and now it's tracking me and that's what we want. Okay, and now click the track reverse. <laughs> All right, we got it. What do you want to do now? Go here in the three dots and copy track data. When you have it, when you copied your track data, go in a edit mode again. Now you need to unhide, like show the Bart. But before that, right click and create new compound clip. Name Bart. Okay, just create a compound clip. What you want to do is go to gain to coloring. Click here on Eclipse. When you are in Eclipse, you can see it right, right here. Go to Stabilizer, Three Dots again, Classic Stabilizer. Now you need to paste the track data and go the strong down below to minus 100. And let's see what will happen. Let's click Stabilize before that. Oh, mama, what is this? What is this, my friend? Oh, no. Oh, you need to unclick the zoom. Such a huge... Whew, I thought that I teach you something wrong. You need to unclick the zoom. I'm like, what is wrong here? <laughs> Okay, and let's see now how it looks like. Okay, I know that he doesn't have hair because I cut it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so crazy, right? How I cut his hair. And yep, yeah, this is it. So again, you will go to the three dots to classic stabilizer, minus 100, based track data, you will unclick the zoom and you got it. Because if 
Let's go back, 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 back. Delete keyframe. No. Let's go. Okay, redo, redo. Oh. So right now, let's see how it looks like. It's without it. Okay, and to summarize this again. Let's go back. Fast track data. We are in a classic stabilizer. Unclick the zoom, stabilize, and let's see the game. And you got it. And now you can put animal face, meme face uh, from cartoon to your videos, like whatever. Because uh, before that, when I was working in Sony Vegas, it was really hard to create uh, motion tracking in Sony Vegas. And if you were working, you know it yourself. But this is another level of awesomeness. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you, I helped you how to create an amazing, I would say, uh, motion tracking. If you like this video, you can support me with subscribe and leave a comment down below. What would you like to learn? Thank you all guys and see ya.